in a world where you can be anything, do not be in a Maya cologne. Do not be in a Maya cologne. That's it. That's the message. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I saw this video on TikTok and when i searched i discovered that it's even something recent like it's just happening when i mean it's just happening it's just a recent development so it says amaya colon is allegedly a home wrecker and betrayed her bff sandra shehab by sleeping with her husband josh bowren and this amaya girl is dating sandra's brother like I guys do you guys understand what I said? Amaya apparently was dating or is dating Sandra's brother while also being a side chick to Sandra's husband. And do you guys also know what else I discovered? Apparently, Fashion Nova have a, a section for side chicks, like they make wears for side chicks. So you can imagine the the way the wears will be. I've not had time to check, but don't worry, you guys, the tea you guys are going to get from this particular tea is so much. But don't worry, I brought all the videos for you so you'll not be missing anything. And I brought, I tried to, I tried to bring so much so you guys will hear from different angle. If one misses another tea, you can get it from the other person. And I will also be looking into Sandra's former life. Because what I'm getting from this tea also is that Sandra also did what amaya just did to her sandra has also done it to another friend the whole thing i don't even understand this oh guys let me let me just allow you guys you know watch and hear for yourselves but let me know your thoughts in the comment section not only were you dating this woman's brother you said that's not enough let me steal your husband too how greedy can you be guys in a world where you can be anything don't be an amaya kareem so let me just break it down real quick. So anyways, Amaya Kaloon was friends with Sandra Shahib. Sandra Shahib is like an American next top model. Amaya Kaloon is like an influencer. You know when everyone's doing that trend where you do the soft girl glam and you have that picture and then you swipe and it's your picture. That was basically Amaya Kaloon. If you know, you know. Anyways, so Amaya Kaloon was dating Sandra Shahib's brother. Then she cheated on the brother with Sandra's husband, Josh. And you know what's so funny, guys? Her, Josh and Amaya are together till this day. But they just don't post because of the backlash. I'm not going to lie, Sandra, you're a better woman than me. Because me, I would have came on the internet and did, who did I get married to part 1000? Yeah. Somebody needs to drop a story time. And she was like, I'm not going to drop a story time because I don't like ruining people's names or something like that. But anyways, a new, another girl dropped a video, a uh, story time. And her name's Sid Cindy, Sydney, I don't remember. She also mentioned that Amaya stole her with her boyfriend as and her boyfriend was a rapper called Lil Baby. But then when you look at the severity of the situation, who is Amaya friends with? Amaya's friends with Tuna. And Tuna is known for being a legit side hole and because she stole Ari's man who's Jihabu. So it's like birds of a flutter, what do they say? Flock together. So that's what is really given. But guys, some girls are actually really scary. Like she basically wanted Sandra's life. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel like you just want Sandra because there's no other way you can put it. You you went you dated her brother. You said, mm, let me get close to her. I'm gonna date her brother and then I'm gonna steal the husband. Mm. Double homicide. You know what's embarrassing? Being a part of a friend group that is only known or best known for being side bitches. Embarrassing for y'all, but entertaining for us. So if you're like me and you didn't know who Amaya Colin was 24 hours ago. I'm about to break the tea down for y'all. So Amaya is a model slash influencer who is best friends with Tyena. If you don't know who Tyena is, Tyena is Emily B's daughter of Love & Hip Hop slash Fabulous. Um, she's also more well known for being G Herbal's side bitch when he was with Ari. Um, and now they have two kids together. Now, apparently, before she got with G Herbo, she actually was a side bitch of Lil Bibby, another Chicago-based rapper. And G Herbo and Lil Bibby were friends. The streets are saying, not me, but the streets are saying that Tyena was passed around like a blunt in the rotation, okay? Now, this is where Amaya comes in because the streets are also saying that after Tyena got with G Herbo, Amaya got with Lil Bibby. And who was the streets? Lil Bibby's ex-girlfriend. She came on here and said, actually, Amaya slept with my boyfriend when we were together. So this is not the first time she's done it. What is that? Sleep with someone's boyfriend, or should I say husband? So a model named Sandra came on here and said, hey, Amaya, while she was dating my brother, my blood brother, then had an affair with my husband, and now they're together, but they're so ashamed of it that they're not telling anybody. But I'm gonna tell y'all. We need to talk about what happened between Amaya and Sandra. It's actually crazy. Amaya allegedly stole 
Sandra's husband while dating her brother. So that means if I was Sandra, it means that you are cheating on my blood. First of all, this is already something like mm -mm, you're not cheating on my brother. First of all, but you are cheating on my brother to go my husband, my husband, which means someone that I was planning to live my entire life with. That's who you picked while being my friend, my friend. Honestly, I'm really surprised of how mature Sandra is for not taking this to court because we would be in court right now. We would literally be in court. This is why I'm so afraid of girls' friendships sometimes and I have kept the same friend for years. Years. And I'm not a very social person. I don't want to change my friends every day and like go with this person and then that person because the problem is they want you to do good but never better than them and then they will still do nice stuff to you. So it, it kind of, it's like mixed signals. Like you're buying gifts for my birthday and you're, you're helping me do stuff, but still in the end, you don't have my best interest. Anyway, be safe out there. Everybody's so shocked about Amaya cheating with that girl's husband. But who does her, Amaya hang out with? Come on, Taina. And what is Taina known for? Come on, being a side chick. You are who you hang with. I don't care what y'all no, because why are y'all so clever on this app? Why are y'all so clever? Like, the comment section? I live for the comment section. So why I'm over here being nosy? Because, duh. And I'm, you know, seeing the story time of this girl who's saying that her man got taken by Amaya Colon. And apparently this is a trend with her. And I'm in the comments and somebody says, <laughs> somebody says, oh, she's, um, she's a ponytail girl. So I'm like, what is a ponytail girl? I had never heard of that. I'm scrolling through trying to figure it out. <laughs> Apparently, they're calling women that are homewreckers ponytail girls because Ariana Grande wears ponytails. Now, I might be old. I, I've never heard this, like, this saying before, but I am so deceased because ponytail girl is definitely part of my vocabulary. <laughs> Do you know how they say that SZA makes music for side chicks? I feel like Fashion Nova makes clothing for side chicks. And this whole Sandra and Amaya thing is proving that. If you have not seen what's going on with that girl Amaya and her friend Sandra, I highly suggest you check it out because a lot of people are making videos about it. Um, but this is a good example of why it's important to use wisdom when it comes to choosing female friends, you know, when it comes to surrounding yourself with the right people. And I want to talk specifically about female friends. I have experience with friends that try to, you know, message or text my exes. Um, I've been through it all when it comes to friends, but, you know, I've also had friends that try to create these, like, small, like, competitions, per se. Like, I was, you know, dating an athlete, and then they would start dating an athlete, and then they would compare the two. Like, oh, this athlete is taking me out to this, is that. They're doing this, is that. And I'm like, well, I'm not dating this person because he's an athlete. I'm dating him and he happens to be an athlete. You know, there's a, there's a difference, right? Like, I was with him before the career, before all that. I wasn't dating him because he played a certain sport. But I would realize that certain friends would date athletes and compare the relationship, right? I, I've experienced it all, you know, um, so that's why I want to talk about why it's important, you know, to be wise when it comes to females, and the Bible actually talks about this as well. You got Sarah and Hagar, you got Leah and Rachel, you got the story of Hannah. Those are three major stories that you should check out in the Bible when it comes to female competition, female jealousy, you know, enviness, anything like that you can find in these stories, right? Also in Proverbs, it talks about different types of women, you know, women that you should stay away from, women that you should surround yourself with. I mean, it's all there, right? And some of the some of these stories actually helped me because I have suffered so much when it comes to friendships and just 
competition mindsets like certain things like that these stories have helped me so much to know people by their fruits right and so if you observe someone that is willing to break up a home a family if you you know observe someone that is talking to someone that says oh he said he doesn't have a girlfriend you know they've been broke up da, da, da. Mm, you, you got to know people by their fruits you know yes people can do whatever they want in their lives and their personal lives but just because they're doing it in their personal life does not separate you from that at all. And I used to think that, but that's not the case. You know, yes, she can do whatever she wants in her personal life, but you are also in her personal life. So if she is willing to do that to other people and to other women, what makes you any different? And I used to have that mindset. I used to say, well, I'm different because I'm the friend, right? Like they would never do that to me well why wouldn't they right most of the time anytime you get hurt it's not by people that you don't know it's by people that you do know it's by people that are closest to you it's by people that you love and so you have to be mindful of what people do in their personal life because you are included in that personal life like you're not excluded i've lost friendships over this i'm telling you like i have distanced myself from people that are okay with you know breaking up homes and things like that and in and, and indulging in infidelity stuff like i don't play about that at all and i've always been like that i've always been a person with principle and morals um even before i gave my life to christ you know i'm so big on relationships even when i'm single i'm very big on relationships i'm very big on marriage i always encourage people to stay in their relationships and marriage you know it, as long as you know there's no cheating involved but i always encourage people men and women you know to work it out so i've always stand on that and you have to be like that you have to decide what your morals are what you stand on and you have to stand on it you know you are going to lose some people because at the end of the day we're humans and we're going to do what we want to do right but you have to surround yourself with people who are like-minded you know who agree with you like yes you know what actually these are my morals oh wow these are my morals too and you guys can you know go from there but don't surround yourself particularly with women that are very different than you when it comes to the mind okay it's very very tricky you know to surround yourself with women that do certain things and you have to say no well i'm separate from that you're not I personally never experienced someone trying to go after my brother and then date my ex and this is what the scenario is with this girl amaya amaya and sandra um one thing about me i don't play about my brother so I've never been in a situation where a friend wanted to date my brother and I actually like, you know, encouraged it. Like I actually don't play that. So you have to be mindful, especially if you have brothers, you know, just be careful. Just be careful in general. If you are single, be careful. And if you are married, be careful. If you have certain friends that have certain tendencies that you know that you don't agree with, that you don't align with, but you don't want to lose that friendship, just be careful, okay? Don't walk into things oblivious. You have to use wisdom. God gave us wisdom. God gave us that instinct. Use it. When it comes to this Amaya and Sandra situation, there's actually a psychological term for this, and it's called mimetic desire. Mimetic desire is the desire according to another or desire according to a model. Imitation is a force that shapes human desire. People desire things because someone else, a model, did first. Sandra and her sister were already on the scene as models and influencers. I think everyone is too focused on the fact that Amaya took Sandra's husband when in reality she wanted her whole life, even if it included her man. And that's what she went for. Just go back and look at how Amaya's style evolved over time. She's even dressing like Sandra too. It's it's really wild. How do you see your friend's man and think, yeah, that's me? Because the tea that I keep seeing on TikTok, diddy diddy diddy, you guys' favorite beauty influencer, Natalie Nunn and her little boyfriend. It's early as hell. Welcome back to Slow Mornings with me, Sarah Louise, model, content creator, and poet. And matter of fact, matter of fact, if my friend is with someone, we like we might be civil, like acquaintance, if that. Like I see you, I'll say hi, like that's calm. But all this pally pally friend friend 
with your friend's man is what mind baffles me because in the end of the day i don't know whether you're going to be here for the long run the fact that there's more stories coming out about stuff that this person has done in the past is even more insane to really keep that person at a distance am i the only one that's on messy talk like i cannot be the only one that is on messy talk i built my for you page brick by brick i can't stand is that here on this clock app people are out here making r kelly viral making diddy memes to r kelly music this is the the state that we're in that people are taking it seriously but at the same hand making a mockery of what's going on right now it's, we are all aware of r kelly and his crimes why are we now making him viral on this app and trying to make commentary on diddy like, cut that out expeditiously because I've been on Messy Talk the past couple of days, I feel like it's been rattling me and maybe I need to log off and come off the app or something. But like, I've been seeing so much stuff. It's leading me down a rabbit hole. This guy who was like pretty young, I think he was 21 years old when he ended up being with like Natalie Nunn at some point and getting taken advantage of. The boy says he's streaming. He's streaming on some app. It wasn't like, it was like Twitch, but called Kick. Went to my living room, set up the projector, not even the TV, you know. This is how I know that I am the problem. Shut up the projector to stream his live that he was doing about this whole situation, which I think is absolutely insane because he's got so much evidence. Text, he was screen recording, screen recording their messages, mind you mind you and natalie's out here trying to say he's lying because he's part of the lgbtq plus community yeah i hope you guys have a good day and hopefully tomorrow i'll be talking about something completely different car i need to get off messy talk ace breaking down what the fuck is going on tiktok today amaya Colon and sandra shahab husband drama explained amaya is getting accused of homewrecking sandra's relationship with her ex-fiance let's get into how we got here so the year is 2019. Sandra and Amaya are two influencer best friends from New Jersey. They make lifestyle content, share their life. Sandra's actually an America's Next Top Model. Amaya does makeup tutorials. They're best friends. Sandra's family does social media. She has a sister named Amy. The Shahab family is well known. And at the time, Amaya wants some of that clout. Around this era, Sandra starts posting a lot about her relationship with her boyfriend, Josh. Josh is a bum. They're dating in 2019. 2020, they actually end up getting engaged. She shares a lot about it on her TikTok account. All besties, they're all hanging out. And around this 2020 era, Amaya starts dating Adam, who is Sandra's younger brother. But here's the tea. Adam was actually dating someone else and Amaya came in and took Adam from that girl. So Sandra's family was like, what the fuck? That's kind of sus. We don't like that. 2020 era, Amaya starts hooking up with Josh the Bop, who is Sandra's then fiance. So she's dating Adam, Sandra's little brother, and cheating on him with Sandra's fiance. Okay. 2021, the engagement is called off. I guess she finds out that Amaya is sleeping with her fiance at the time. The story actually started recirculating on Reddit because it got brought up that Amaya does witchcraft. I guess she did witchcraft to get Adam, Sandra's brother, and Josh, her fiance, because she wants to be Sandra so bad because Sandra's family is like very well known. Her Someone went to Sandra's TikTok and commented, hey, didn't Amaya sleep with your brother and fiance? And she goes, haha, yeah, he was my husband. So it turns out they got married at some point, I think secretly, I don't know. Amaya, her best friend, was sleeping with her younger brother, cheating on him with her fiance. Sandra was very demure, and when this whole thing happened, chose to just not talk about it. And because of this making its way on TikTok, more people started coming forward with their stories about Amaya. As of last night this morning, we had a new character come forward on TikTok named Sydney. Sydney was friends with Amaya, and I guess Amaya did this to her as well. She posted a TikTok video saying that she was dating a little Bibby, and she was really good friends with Amaya when Amaya was 19. And Amaya got with her boyfriend, Lil Bibby. The way this happened was Amaya and Sydney and this girl named Asia were friends. Amaya would have Asia take Sydney to go do stuff to distract her so Amaya could sleep with Lil Bibby. For example, Sydney would be like, oh, let me call my man. And Asia would be like, no, like, put your phone down, girl. It's okay. She was covering up for Amaya. Isn't that crazy? She said this Amaya girl that acts super quiet and just does her little makeup videos is actually just insane. I would have never guessed it. But here's our current status. Amaya and Sandra, no longer friends. Amaya and Adam, no longer together. Amaya and Josh are actually together now because they recently posted a picture of them at a whiteout party. Sandra and Josh, 
no longer together. Amaya and Lil Bibby, no longer together. Basically, Amaya just gets with all her friends' mans. There's something so beautiful about your privacy and, you know, just having that intimacy with yourself of not oversharing every little detail of your life. One, because it's your life. And two, I just don't think some things are meant to be shared. You know, some things are sacred. Some things are super deep and, you know, hurtful. Some things you might not be proud of. Whatever the case is, everyone is entitled to share what they want to share. And I think the whole thing of influencers having to overshare to like get to the top and have people bash them if they're not sharing enough is rude. I highly respect all the influencers um, that are able to overshare and to them it's probably not even oversharing to them it's just it comes natural to them but for people who are more private like myself it's just it's rude and annoying when people are like well you're not sharing enough and it's like i'm sharing what i'm comfortable with and no one should feel that entitled to to tell somebody what they should and shouldn't be talking about this whole story is just bizarre I think it was the day before I saw a video of a, a girl also sharing this kind of deal. Um, the same best friend. Okay, in that case, her best friend that was her chief bridesmaid at her wedding was sleeping with her husband for the five years duration that she was married to her husband. And I, I think I need to bring that story for you guys. You guys need to hear it. Like, oh my God, things are happening things are happening so you no know, and she was saying that she now after she shared her story she was not like that people need to be mindful what they share with their friends that it's not everything you tell you share any, everything you and your man is doing that you tell your friends that some of them you know when you're telling them those stories it's building fantasy in their head and if that if they don't have the same experience you have in your life they will want to live your life and how best can they live your that life they want to you know take the man and ha have that experience you know i keep saying that you cannot steal a man i don't really like that phrase you can't steal a man he's not a baby a man that doesn't want to be stolen won't be st won't be stolen so i think it's, it's, it's a weak man that can be stolen that's what i can say but let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you think any man can be stolen by any woman i also understand that there are there there are women that will pry on men, and it still falls down to a weak man. Because if a man that has boundary, a, a principled man with integrity, will create boundary on his behalf of his girl and that of their relationship, so that girls outside will not come and you know put division between him and his girl. There are men that do that. If they notice that a particular friend of that woman is you know is crossing the boundary. They call them out on it and they report the woman to that woman. Do you get? But the ones that don't do that and behind, the, they'll be, my dear, forget it. You can't steal, a, you can't steal a, a man with integrity. That's all I can say. He's not a baby that should be, that you'll be stolen. Come on. As if he does not have a will of his own. You just come and, nah, I, I can't even accept that. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I'll be bringing you the story of Sandra. How Sandra also did her own to this in fact this current husband maybe was it her ex fiance she stole her she stole the man from her own friend so is it the, the circle is taking the full course do you get so their friend the whole friends group is doing the same thing to each other